Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all having a wonderful day thus far. And so in this video, we will be taking a look at that cold front that is moving through the Caribbean and bringing along with it those cooler than normal temperatures, which is heading in for majority of the North Caribbean now. And I will be taking a look at what is expected. And I also want to talk about the possibility for us to have a development of our first cyclone of the Atlantic hurricane season so I'll be touching on that briefly but before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to share your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video and so as we take a look at the satellite imagery right now for the Caribbean, we're definitely seeing here that uh, all this activity, especially in terms of those clouds, uh, that's actually been induced by the cold front that is moving through the region. And by the way, that front is dissipating. And so winds are mostly coming out of the north and uh, things are pretty cool across most of these areas here, including Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and even going over into parts of uh Central America as well and even the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and over in the Lesser Antilles though we see that there is some activity in terms of all those clouds moving across mainly the Leeward Islands might bring along a shower or so but nothing intense happening right now and we're actually seeing that all of the shower and thunderstorm activity is taking place outside the Caribbean region because there is a surplus of dry air that is helping to prevent any such activity that convection from developing because in order for all those showers and thunderstorms to develop there needs to be unstable conditions and moisture needs to be in abundance however things are pretty dry across the Caribbean right now and that is what is helping to suppress all of that rainfall activity so as a result the main impact from the cold front is the temperature drop across the northern part of the basin uh, there is still going to be that chance of rainfall through the day for some areas but any intense rainfall activity is just not anticipated as a result of uh, the effects of the cold front and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at the updated forecast in terms of the temperature drop across the Caribbean and we'll be looking at the GFS model and so here we have uh, this run here so this is for later today and we're seeing that we have of course the colors to the right side of your screen with those values beside them indicating how much below or above normal temperatures are but of course in this case for the Caribbean we're taking a look at those values that are accompanied by a negative sign or what we know as the minus sign and so we're seeing here that we definitely have those blues indicating the cooler than normal temperatures that are anticipated we see that the southeastern US the Bahamas Turks and Caicos Islands as well as portions of Central America the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and Jamaica are all included in this. And so today is going to be a pretty cold day for majority of these regions, and especially Jamaica, which is now joining all of those cooler than normal temperatures. So the highest temperatures for some areas for today will be what is typical of the night time. So that is how cool it is going to be, several degrees cooler, and it is going to be pretty noticeable. And even this morning, it is a definitely cold morning or at least cold for what I'm used to but let me know in the comments how things are in your area okay and so as we head into tomorrow now tomorrow morning we're seeing here that GFS is forecasting that uh, these cooler than normal temperatures are going to persist through to that time and even extend to parts of Puerto Rico and as we head to Tuesday that is when uh, there is going to be improvements in terms of all of those temperatures going back to what is typical at this time of year and then eventually by Thursday we're seeing here that GFS is expecting that things are going to uh, return to normal for the most part so uh, just a couple of days of this cool weather but most of us are definitely going to enjoy it but I want to make mention of the fact that even though this is something 
that many of us have been anticipating, especially here in parts of the Caribbean. Very cool weather can trigger some health conditions. Uh, they can trigger flu-like symptoms as well as even asthma. Because of course, all of this is a temperature variation that isn't very common. So uh, ensure that you guys take the necessary precautions and stay safe. And I certainly will because I'm asthmatic. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what is happening in terms of the water vapor and so look at this map here uh look at all of those orange and red shades setting in for the northern caribbean so that is the plethora of dry air that that lies behind the cold front and so all of that dry air is in vast abundance right now across the northern caribbean and uh we see that parts of the eastern section of the basin uh has some dry air but it's not too much there however we see areas of moisture being marked by those whites and those greens so uh, that is where we have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place so uh the part of the front that is in the caribbean doesn't consist of uh, activity in terms of showers and thunderstorms however we can definitely see all of that activity is there uh, outside the Caribbean north of the uh, northeastern Caribbean right there and so now I want to take you guys a bit up in latitude. Let's go ahead and take a look at a part of the Atlantic just off the east coast of the U.S. And we are seeing that here we have the extension of that cold front. However, there we are seeing some spinach right within that zone. So that is a low pressure area. Take a look at the rotation. And so that is what could potentially develop into the first cyclone or the first named system of 2023 and actually the last time a system formed in january was back in 2016 when alex developed uh i believe around january 12 and it actually kick-started the 2016 hurricane season from that time so if we have the development of this system here then the first name on the list is arlene and the models have been hinting towards something actually developing. However, the NHC has not said anything. But of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated. And I'll definitely be watching this. But let's go ahead and look at some of the model runs in terms of what they're anticipating. And so, of course, we're beginning with the uh, Euro. So we're looking at the different ensemble members. And actually, when we see them having that blue, that dark blue, or that green shade or even that yellow shade that is indicating uh, the sustained winds of a tropical cyclone in terms of tropical storm force winds and so let's go ahead and take a look at it and there is the time uh, to the top right side of your screen so let's see what the model is ex uh, what the ensemble tracks are expecting and so we're seeing here that they are in abundance and most of them are expecting that this is going to be achieving uh, well actually not tropical storm in this case but subtropical storm storm status uh, as we're going to be heading through the early part of this week as we head into tomorrow monday go into tuesday and then eventually the system is going to be making its way into parts of canada bringing along with it impacts and so as for the gfs ensemble members something a bit similar here but we have some of these members expecting that the system is going to be a bit stronger so uh this is very interesting and uh it is not very uncommon for subtropical cyclones to develop this far but at this time of year it is definitely a rare phenomenon if it should happen so let's wait and see what's going to be happening guys and of course as i said i'm going to be keeping you updated and uh that is really it for right now and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise